welcome back my dear friends i hope you're having a good time in today's video i want to do the following i will share with you the curriculum that i have for my bootcamp that i'm attending currently it's a six month coding bootcamp and in the previous video i shared my curriculum that i had during my cs degree that i graduated from 10 years ago and that was for the university that I attended in Eastern Europe. Now I'm studying again because I want to level up as a developer. And until now, all the development that I have done, it was desktop application and I tinkered a little bit with web services, but I never did anything um, website development or web development it was just a little bit like 10 years ago and it was super simple it was nothing dynamic nothing extreme or anything like that so that's what i'm studying right now i'm learning to um, be a web developer or be able to develop websites so without further ado let's look into the curriculum so i have it right here and i will read it as we go. So, as I mentioned, it's a six month bootcamp. It's a coding bootcamp. And in reality, it's 24 weeks. So, the very first week I learned, or the curriculum was about JavaScript expression variables, introduction to functions, control flow, intermediate functions, and so on. Pretty straightforward, pretty um, normal for the very first week because it's Kind of make sure that you have the basics taken care of. Week two, it was uh, executing JavaScript locally, uh, plain old JavaScript objects, callbacks, scope, asynchronous functions in JavaScript. Then we moved on to week three, where we started to use Node.js, we started to do Git, uh, we started to do recursion, which was a lot of fun. A recursion doesn't matter what language you're learning, uh, what programming language you do, recursion is never, never boring. Boring. <laughs> what are your feelings about recursion? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really, really curious. Okay, moving on. Week four, we did uh, local storage, browser basics with JavaScript, um, event handling, um, DOM, I believe, yeah, I think DOM was uh, that week, so element selection and placement. Then week five, we had uh, introduction to NPM classes and object-oriented programming. Week six was promises. I love promises. They are so fun. <laughs> um, HTTP and unit testing, TDD and so on. TDD is really important, so hopefully you uh, get exposed to that, whatever you're doing. Then week seven was big O algorithms, um, sorting algorithms, data structures, um, and so much more about all of that area. Um, it was the entire week about was spent on that. Then week eight is internet protocol suite understanding. So it was a lot of networking, right? So it was internet protocol suite understanding, network, network models, network tools, interactivity, Java, not Java, Ajax, Ajax basics. So we learned a lot of protocols. We learned about different models. Uh, it was a lot of networking, which I hope I don't have to deal with a lot, but it's good to understand where is what and where is going and where is coming from. So it's really, it was really interesting to see. And I think that's the week that we, that we played with a lot with Wireshark, which was really cool. Uh, week nine, it was browser knowledge, flexbox layout, grid layout, attributes layout, a responsive design project. So it was a lot, a lot of CSS. And we did a couple of interesting projects. Um, then week 10, it was relation, relational database usage, object relational mapping in JavaScript. So we did ORM, we did SQLize, um, the database that we learned and we started to use it was Postgres, which was interesting. It takes so much, um, it requires so much attention and at the same time, it's super easy. You just have to be really detailed oriented to get it to work. 
Okay, where was that? Okay, then week 11, we did express routing, HTML forms and express um, data-driven express website. So that's kind of when we were introduced to express and that when all the fun began. <laughs> um, week 12, express continued with express, express API, testing express application, authentication and express, security vulnerabilities. Okay, then week 13. Uh, and that's when, a f that's the point where everything that was learned up to that point, um, it was a, a week, a whole week of working on a project that required to apply into practice everything that was learned in the first half of the program. Moving forward, week 14 starts with introduction to React, React and events. Next, following week, week 15, it continues with React router and single page apps, Redux concept, Redux reducers and action creators. Then week 16, it's React plus Redux personal project, web sockets. Then week 17, it's when uh, Python is being introduced and Python is being learned for probably a month. So a particular is Python data types and operations, um, Python language functions, Python control, control flow, con Python functions, methods, classes, modules, Python unit testing with unit test packages. So it's a lot of Python, which Python is pretty cool. Uh, week 18, it's a Python packages and a virtual environment, uh, idiomatic, Python, Flask routing, Python packages, and Docker. Um, I'm, I remember then when I was researching which bootcamp to attend, when I saw Docker and the curriculum, that was one of the points that sold the program for me because I initially enrolled in a different bootcamp and then I switched to this current bootcamp, one of the reasons that I really wanted to learn about Docker. So, okay. Moving on to week 19, which will be on Flask application, SQL Alchemy, Threading 101. Threads are, uh, I don't know. <laughs> on week 20, a Python project. Week 21 will be a portfolio, personal full stack portfolio application. That's where we will probably do something um, interesting. So I. I, the, the challenge that I'm having is that I have too many ideas, too many projects that I want to work on, and all of them are super exciting. So I will have to pick one. So maybe I will do a poll um, later and ask for your advice, which project should I work on next for my kind of personal project for the bootcamp. And then I'll probably share, uh, share it with you. Um, week 22. Um, it will be a lot of kind of coaching on how to pass an interview, how to prepare yourself, personal branding and so on. And also kind of finishing up your personal, like the personal project. Um, and week 23 and 24, it will be spent a lot of time on working on the personal project. So those are the 24 hour, 24 hours, <laughs> 24 weeks, that somewhere in the average of 20, Oh my God, again and again, <laughs> that's about six months of learning. It's a lot of material in a really short amount of time, but it's kind of the concept. So hopefully you found something interesting here. Um, please let me know what you think about this curriculum. Do you think it is adequate for the web development market? at the moment or is it something else that is missing as always i want to ask you to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content share it with your friends who might enjoy this channel as well and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because i am planning to work on more exciting video topics for you so until next time i want to wish you Happy engineering, my dear friends.